Half a billion license plates are in one Bay Area company's database, and yours might be one of them. The license scanning technology is at the center of a debate over stopping crime and protecting privacy. It's a delicate balance that is now the focus of a California Watch investigation. ABC 7's Capitol correspondent Annette Miranda is live in Sacramento tonight with the story. Annette. Well, as seen in at least one crime-fighting tool, privacy experts say laws have not caught up with technology. More and more law enforcement agencies and even private security firms are mounting high-tech cameras atop their vehicles, scanning license plates, but a California watch investigation raises questions over how else the information gathered by this 21st century tool is being used. It found a Livermore-based company called Vigilant Video has compiled a database containing more than half a billion license plate scans from across the country. Our digital fingerprints are everywhere. And so, the California you know, Public Interest Research there. Group works on privacy issues and says the database raises red flags because it shows where people have been and when, even the innocent ones. Whenever individuals' information is stored or compiled in one place, folks should be concerned, especially if they don't know about it. The investigation also raises questions about police access to the database. They're not supposed to use information from license scanning to solve other crimes, but if it's now someone else's database, it's the perfect loophole to gain access. Vigilant Video declined our request for an interview, but the firm's president told California Watch we shouldn't hinder officers from doing their job. CHP and Arden Fair Mall share license scans only with law enforcement. Meanwhile, critics had similar concerns with Fast Track because the company, too, had information on where customers had been once a toll was paid. But California lawmakers made it illegal two years ago to sell that data. Live in Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC 7 News. Senate, thanks very much.